Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Donnie Hathaway, real estate advisor with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Florida Properties Group. In today's video, we're talking about the monthly market update. This is gonna be for the month of September. That's the latest stats that we have. Again, if you've seen any of these videos before, you know that we're talking about single family homes in Pinellas County. If you want the stats for, for the entire county, uh, condos, townhomes, all of that, let me know, or I'll have it in the, in the link below. Uh, you can click on it and download the, the, the full report from the Pinellas Realtor Organization. So you also know that we talk about four numbers that I think are kind of important that kind of give us an overall idea of, of what's happening in the market. That's gonna be closed sales, average sales price, median time to contract, and the amount of inventory, the amount of homes we have available for sale. So we're just gonna run through all of these stats real quick and then we can kind of summarize uh, what this all means, where the market is headed, what we know, what we don't know, uh, and, and go from there. So, so for the month of September, number of closed sales was actually up 12% uh, year over year. So this time last year, number of sales rose 12%. Average sales price also increased uh, compared to last year, that increased 20%. That is a crazy number, 20% the prices increased from this time last year. Median time to contract, that number went down about 64%, almost 65% the number went down. The average or the median time to contract is about nine days right now, uh, which again is just crazy. And if you're a buyer in this market, uh, you know that all too well and how challenging it can be to find a property uh, and get it under contract uh, within that within that time period. The amount of inventory, the last number that we're gonna talk about, also decreased uh, this compared to this time last year. The amount of inventory has been decreasing for, for about the last year or so now. Um, so it's it's been a constant theme uh, on any market update or anytime you're talking to a realtor that we have low inventory. Uh, we're looking for mo more homes to sell, more options for, for buyers to purchase. So that's our market update. Now I kind of want to recap and share some, some main points that kind of stood out to me uh, after reviewing this these month's numbers. Uh, so number one being the average sales price increasing 20% uh, compared to last year. So if you bought a home last year in 2019, you have just increased your equity by 20% without spending a dollar. Uh, it's like the saying go, always goes, or the saying that you always hear about, you know, the best time to invest in real estate is yesterday. This is a perfect example of why that statement is so true. You know, we don't always uh, know what's gonna happen in the market. So, you know, there's, there is some risk involved uh, when you're investing uh, any amount of money and, and especially so uh, on, on, you know, buying a home. So the second thing that stood out is just 2020, um, just, you know, everything with COVID, with the election, it's just been a, a crazy uh, year, difficult year for, for a lot of people, for a lot of families. Um, and just how much we we don't know when it comes to real estate. You know, we can we can predict, you know, and look at all the numbers and, and be an expert in, in the past and what's happened in the past and try to see trends and whatnot that's going on in, in the future. Uh, but at the end of the day, like nobody really knows what's going to happen um, in the next six months, in the next 12 months. And 2020 was a perfect example of, of that. Uh, nobody had predicted this. Obviously, nobody had predicted COVID uh, to happen as well. Um, but that completely changed the market that we were in. We were we were going in towards a, a buyer's market. Inventory, um, you know, had relatively was was balanced, I, I guess, between a buyer's market and a seller's market. It was kind of trending towards that buyer's market. So we were expecting uh, that trend to continue into 2020. Uh, and then all of a sudden, COVID hit and completely flipped the market upside down and, and, and brought us into a heavy seller's market, you know, where, where uh, as you just heard, average price has gone up and uh, the days on market have gone down. Inventory has also gone down as well. All right, and so the third thing that stood out to me is the median time to contract, down to nine days. You know, that number just continues to decrease and how difficult it has been if you're a buyer in this market. Um, which I think just puts more importance on being prepared uh, as a buyer, as prepared as you can be. You know, whether if you're paying cash, then then you have a leg up. 
uh, especially when the properties are, are selling with multiple offers and they're selling quickly. But if you're not, and the majority of people don't have the cash to pay for, you know, two to three hundred thousand dollars for a home, so you're you, you got to get financing. And there's ways to go about it to to be prepared, uh, to have your loan tied up as as tight as it can be, and and be pre pre qualified, and actually have a pre approval um, before you even find a home to purchase. So that way, uh, the lender has has gone through some of the approval process before finding a home, and and that just helps you as a buyer. Uh, when you're when you're making that offer, when you're in a multiple offer situation, that's one way that you can stand out. There's other ways that you can stand out, but um, I think this market, this time frame, the last you know six months has really put a a emphasis on uh, on the buyer and making sure that they are prepared to purchase the home and not just going into it and being like, yeah, I think I want to purchase. You know, if you're if you're going into it in, with that mindset, you're you're more than likely not going to find a home to buy. Uh, in this time period. So you might as well just wait till you're you're ready to go ahead and, and move forward and actually pull the trigger and purchase a home. So I, I feel for the buyers and, and what they've been going through. There's, you know, I've, I've worked with several myself that have, we put in multiple offers on, on several different properties and we either outbid or uh, there was a cash offer or we didn't get to see the property in time. Um, so there's a lot of things and it's just been it's been difficult a lot of buyers have decided just to hold off and, and wait till the market kind of cools off a little bit and I, I totally respect that um, but uh, but I think the big thing is like if you are gonna if you do need to purchase a home just be prepared as, as you can be um, and be ready to, to, to deal with a multiple offer situation and be able to act quickly so that is our latest monthly market update. If you listen to this entire video, uh, I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, do me a favor, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, click that bell, and you'll get alerted every time I post a new video like this one. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, you know, uh, leave me a comment below, let me know what your thoughts are, um, and, and share it with anybody that you think might be interested in, uh, in this video as well. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, fantastic week, and we'll see you next time.